Hello, sunshine. Check on your chef friends or anyone who works in the kitchen. I think they may need a little bit of TLC right about now. Maybe some cold water, especially the ones that wear wigs. Just saying. Hey, Cake Nieces, it's Marisha. I hope that you guys are staying safe out there in this heat because this thing's not playing. Look at this. Combining two of my favorite things, s'mores and ice cream, yes. We're gonna take some graham crackers, make the cookies out of the graham crackers. We're gonna make a marshmallow ice cream. It's just gonna be dipped in chocolate. It's gonna look beautiful. It's gonna taste delicious. Subscribe to this channel and click on the bell ding, for the notifications because I'm gonna need you to get notified on this goodness, this deliciousness. And let's get started. For the cookie, I really wanna use graham crackers. Hopefully, I get three cups. The cinnamon graham crackers with some milk. Boy! Here are the ingredients that I'm gonna be using for my cookies. Chilled unsalted butter along with granulated sugar. Egg, salt, baking powder with our three cups of graham crackers. We're gonna be doing the creaming method. I remember when I learned about the creaming method in school, I was just so impressed. I said it has a name. I'm so upset that I dropped my second piece of butter today. Now at this point, I can add my eggs. <laughs> I'm gonna add one egg at a time while mixing. Take some of my graham cracker crumbs that I put aside. I have some gloves on just because this is gonna be a little bit messy. Knead it until it's a little bit easier to manage. I'm loving this color. Hey, it's almost me. I always said that I was like a cinnamon complexion, but now I'm just thinking of saying graham cracker. Five nine, brown eyes, brown hair, graham cracker complexion. I really do like that. This feels really good. This is my Saturday therapy. Ooh, that was a workout okay this is gonna chill in the refrigerator you can wrap it in plastic wrap or you can put it in a freezer bag till it is solid about two hours or overnight I'm still focused on trying to make a perfect ball and that's never gonna happen this is the cookie cutter that I'm choosing for my graham crackers I like it because it has a nice fluted edge so I'm gonna roll out my dough and then use my cookie cutter to cut out my cookies and I'm gonna place these on a greased pan and they're gonna go into a 350 degree preheated oven for about nine minutes. Yes, that's a very odd number, but that's what worked perfectly for me. When they come out, they should be golden brown and looking something like this. Now we're going to move on to the marshmallow ice cream. So this is the base that I've done many times on my channel before. Just starting off with two cups of heavy whipping cream. I'm going to whip that up until it forms soft peaks like this. And then I'm going to add to that 10 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. I'm going to keep on whipping until it forms semi-firm peaks. And then I'm going to add my marshmallow fluff. I'm going to add about half of a container. It's about a cup, a cup and a half. Now something that will really enhance the marshmallow flavor if that's what you would like. There is marshmallow extract. I can't tell you where to get it around you, but I have seen it before. So just be on the lookout for that. I put some marshmallow fluff in a small sandwich bag, cut off the corner, and I'm going to put a small dollop of that in the center of each cookie. My ice cream base is now in a piping bag with a very cute star tip and I'm going to pipe my ice cream base onto the cookie. Then you can gently place your top cookie onto your sandwich. Of course that middle one is flipped upside down but we're going to act like we don't see that. So let's freeze this for about four hours. When you are ready you can melt a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and then you can dip your delicious ice cream sandwiches into your chocolate. Place that on some waxed paper and while the chocolate is still wet, 
You can even put some graham cracker crumbs onto the cookie. I actually had ginger biscotti. Just one of those specialty items that I found at a random specialty store. I finished this off with some white chocolate just to drizzle on top and add a nice contrast. And then you can go ahead and refreeze your ice cream sandwiches until you are ready to eat them. They are so delicious and I will tell you the longer that you let them freeze, the softer that your cookie will get so that it won't ruin your whole sandwich experience. As you can see I started taking a bite. <laughs> Couture in amazing s'more ice cream sandwiches. Bye guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and leave all of your comments and questions and concerns down below and just say hey Marisha hi. So I could be like hey girl I'll be writing you all back. I'm gonna treat myself with the ice cream sandwich.